Sainam children, welcome to online session. We will start with our revision. Chapter 3 Indices and Cube Root. First, we will revise the laws of indices. If m and n are any integers, then a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. So, here bases are same. For example, 7 raised to 2 into 7 raised to 4 is equal to 7 raised to 6. That is 2 plus 4, 6. So, answer is 7 raised to 6. Next law. A raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. Example, 5 raised to 7 divided by 5 raised to 3. So, answer is 5 raised to 7 minus 3 that is 5 raised to 4. Next law. A into B the whole bracket raised to M. So here A into B whole bracket raised to M is equal to A raised to M into B raised to M. For example 3 into 7 raised to 6 is equal to 3 raised to 6 into 7 raised to 6. A raised to 0 is equal to 1. But we have to keep in mind here base A is not equal to 0. A can be any positive integer or negative integer. For example, 9 raised to 0 is equal to 1. Next law. A raised to minus M is equal to 1 upon A raised to M. So here index is ne negative index is there. A raised to minus M. And negative index is changed to positive. So, we have to take the reciprocal of the base. And base is A. So, reciprocal of A will be 1 upon A. So, answer is A raised to minus M is equal to 1 upon A raised to M. 8 raised to minus 3 is equal to 1 upon 8 raised to 3. So, these are some of the laws of indices. Now, numbers with rational indices. So, we have now we will be doing rational indices. Rational indices means rational number that is number which is in the form m upon n. Where m is any integer and n is not equal to 0. It means m upon n, m is your numerator. And numerator can be any integer. And n which is a denominator should not be equal to 0. So, we are going to do numbers with rational indices. Indices in the form of rational numbers such as that is 1 upon n. Now, general form. nth root of a. Now, we are doing indices which are in the form 1 upon n. So, your numerators are, numerator is 1. And when if your numerator is 1, then 1 upon n is nth root of a. So, general form is nth root of a is expressed as a raised to 1 upon n. So, when we say that is it is the index is 1 upon n, a raised to 1 upon n, it is nth root. So, always keep in mind that when your index is a rational number, that is rational indices, your denominator is your root. Express the following numbers in the index form. Fifth root of 13. So here it is fifth root. And whenever it is root, that is fifth root, it is 1 upon 5. Root is always a number which is in your denominator. So it is fifth root means it is 1 upon 5. Of which number? 13. 13 is your base. So how we will be writing? 13 raised to 1 upon 5. So, we are doing the indices which are in the form 1 upon n. So, the general form is nth root. Here your numerator is 1. So, 5th root of 13, 5th root means your index is 1 upon 5. So, answer 13 raised to 1 upon 5. Square root of 256. So, when we say square root, 
So square is that is when we say square root it is 1 upon 2. Because when we say square it is 2 and it is now root. So it is 1 upon 2. Square root of 256. So your base is 256. So 256 raised to 1 upon 2. Now we will do index which are in the form m upon n. So always keep in mind your index if it is in the form rational form m upon n. Your m which is numerator is your power. And n which is your denominator is the root. So write in the form of rational indices. And when it is cube of fifth cube of fourth root of 324 it is cube of so cube when we say it is 3 when we, we say cube it is 3 that is so power is 3 and fourth root and root we write in denominator so your index will be 3 upon 4 3 upon 4 your cube is Power that is cube of so it is third power and power always it is written in the that is numerator and root is 4 so denominator so your index which is in the form 3 upon 4 of which number it is 324 so how you will be writing 324 raised to 3 upon 4 next number square root of fifth power of 121 square root when we say square root it is root square is the number when we say 2 multiplied by number twice it is 2 number multiplied by itself twice so square when we say square root it means its denominator is 2 always remember root is written is a denominator of your index of fifth power Power is your numerator. Always keep in mind. Power is your numerator of the index. Rational index. And root denominator. So when we say square root. It is your 2 will come in denominator. And fifth power or fifth power. So phi is your numerator. Of which number it is 121. Base is 121. So it is 121 raised to phi upon 2. So you can write. That is 121 which is your base then 5 upon 2. So always keep in mind index which is in the form m upon n. m is your power n is your root. Now here multiple choice question. So this is multiple choice questions you are aware of. Assignment and all you get multiple choice question many times. So what you have to do, you have to choose the correct option. And in our paper also, you know, all the type of the questions, they have options. Only you have to cal calculate the answer that is and take to the correct answer. So first one is cube of square root of 81. It is cube of square root. So when we say cube, the power is 3. And square root, it means your root that is 2 of 81. So your index will be 3 upon 2. Cube that is your power and square root that is your root is 2. Of which number? 81. So which is the correct option children? It is B1. Right? It is B1 cube of square root of 81. Next one is 9th root of 19. It is 9th root. So when we say 9th root it is 1 upon 9. Of which number? 19. So 19 is your base. 19 is your base. And your root is. 1 upon 9. So which is the correct option? Again B1 here. So answer is 9th root of 19. 
B1. So this is multiple choice questions. You have to take to the correct option. Now this is a question to simplify from practice set 3.3. First question that is cube root of 27 upon 125. So this question is given in the form of simplify and the question itself they have put in the root sign. Cube root of 27 upon 125. And we have learned how to find the cube roots. So first thing is we have to write the factors of that number. And here your numerator is 27 and factors of 27 are 3 into 3 into 3 and factors of 125, 125 is cube of 5. So 5 into 5 into 5. So what we have to do is we have to write cube root of 27 upon 125 is equal to cube root of, you write the factors of that number 3 into 3 into 3 upon 5 into 5 into 5. The only difference here you are having given number in the form of fraction. So we will write the factors of numerator also, denominator also. Now here it is already in the group of 3 so we are to find the cube root. So we are removing the cube root sign now. Now you see there is no cube root sign. So what we have to do, we have to the, take the 1 1 number. So it is 3 upon 5. So answer is Cube root of 27 upon 125 is 3 upon 5. Because we know cube root of 27 is 3. And cube root of 125 is 5. So our answer will also be in fraction. Because the question given is in fraction. So cube root of 27 upon 125 is 3 upon 5. The method is same. First write the factors and then find the cube root and write the answer. Next one is cube root of 16 upon 54. So first what we do we have to write the num factors of the number. Now is 16 a cube of any number? No 16 is not a perfect cube. Is 54 a perfect cube? No. So no problem. Our first step is write the factors. So we will write the factors of 16. So 16 if you express as a product of two numbers it is 4 into 4. And factors of 4 are 2 into 2. So factors of 16 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. And factors of 54. Factors of 54 are it is 2 into 27. And then 27 we know 3 into 3 into 3. So factors of 54 are 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. So what we have to do is we have to write in cube root sign only the numbers. Factors also inside the cube root because still we are solving. So cube root of 16 upon 54 first write the factors. Cube root of 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 upon 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. So, we know that when it is finding the cube roots, we will get the numbers in the group of 3. Right? So, if we are getting the 2, 2, 2, that is group of 3 and 3 also. So, you can see the one factor is common. You will, you will get one factor common in both numerator and denominator. And that common factor here is 2. So, what we will do? We will divide that by 2. So, 2, 2 will get cancelled. And when your 2, 2 will get cancelled, what is remaining is, it is cube root of 2 into 2 into 2, in denominator 3 into 3 into 3. The common factor 2 is divided. Now we have got the group of the numbers which are in 3, that is, so now we have to find the cube root of the given number that is 2 upon 3. So these sums. Though if the number is not a perfect cube, no problem. First write the factors. You will get M1 of the factor common. Divide by that. And the remaining numbers will be in a group of 3 only. So your answer cube root of 16 upon 54 is equal to 2 upon 3.
Now next question. If cube root of 729 is equal to 9, then cube root of 0 0.000729 is equal to question 1. So we have to find the cube root of 0 0.000729. And cube root of 729 is it is given, it is 9. So only now we have to learn the calculation and the decimal part. So first what we will do, we will remove the decimal. So cube root of 0 0.000729 is equal to remove the decimal. So when you remove the decimal, I will get cube root of 729 upon so you have to find how many digits are there after decimal. You have 6 digits. So that multiples of 10. So you will write 1 and 6 zeros beside it. That is the multiple of 10 into 10 into 10, 6 times like that. So 1 and write 6 zeros beside it because after decimal you are having 6 digits. So you have to pay attention to the decimal part. Then cube root of 729 they have given you. It is 9. It is nothing but 9 into 9 into 9. Right? And now we have written this number which is a multiple of 10, 6 times. So, you find the we have to arrange them in the group of 3, 3. So, it will be 100, 100, 100. That is 2 zeros, 2 zeros. So, that is 100, 100, 100. And 3 times you will get. So, what we will do? Now, we will remove the cube root sign. So, the number is 9 upon 100. Because cube root of 729, it is given 9. And this is 100. So, 9 upon 100, again now we have to write the decimal. So, when we say 9 upon 100, it is having 2 zeros, 10 into 10. So, the answer will have 2 decimal places. So, it will be 0 0.09. So, this is the calculation part of decimal. We have to learn and understand. We have to write 9, 0, 0 because you have after decimal two digits so that is 9 upon 100 the answer is cube root of 0 0.000729 is equal to 0 0.09 so here we have done the division of chapter 3 indices and cube root thank you children and revise the sums do the calculation and you have to take to the correct option. We have options for all the answers.